I love you're asking me about marriage. I, I do. I just, I love the question. How long are you married? Uh, 27 years. Yeah, uh, listen, I, I just, I consider myself fortunate, Larry. You know what? Uh, great lady and I'm lucky and I, I, I don't have any answers. I don't have any, any key. Mark Harmon is a beacon of allure and charm. He navigated the Hollywood dating scene with the ease of the leading actor he often portrayed. His striking looks and captivating presence drew relationships with high-profile women, making headlines and sparking interest. Yet, amid the glitz of celebrity romances, Mark's most profound love story unfolded quietly with his wife, Pan Dorba. Together, they've cultivated a life of privacy and enduring partnership, a testament to their deep connection far removed from the public eye. Born in Burbank, California, Mark Harmon was raised in a family with a strong sports background, with his father, Tom Harmon, being a Heisman Trophy winning football player, and his mother, Elise Knox, being an actress, model, and artist. As you would expect of someone with a sporty background, Mark himself excelled in football at UCLA, playing as a quarterback before graduating with a degree in communications. But things took a turn. Instead of pursuing a career in advertising or law, he switched to acting, gaining fame through various roles in television and film, notably in St. Elsewhere and as Leroy Jethro Gibbs in NCIS. His career, marked by Emmy nominations and a People magazine's Sexiest Man Alive title, reflects his diverse talents and enduring appeal in the entertainment world. His talent wasn't the only appealing thing about Mark. His physical look was equally appealing, and as such had an eventful flirting phase before finally meeting the love of his life. One of the popular relationships Mark had before his wife was with Morgan Fairchild. Mark and Morgan had a brief fling in 1979, during a time when both were prominent figures in Hollywood. Fairchild, known for her roles in TV series like Falcon Crest and Flamingo Road, was a significant television star in the 70s and 80s. Their relationship was one of the notable Hollywood pairings of that time, but didn't last long. After what they shared briefly, Mark moved on to other relationships, including a long-term one with Christina Raines. Mark's dating history, including his time with Fairchild, paints a picture of his life before he settled down with his now wife, Pam Dorber. Subsequently, Mark and Karen Carpenter reportedly had a romance in the 1970s. Carpenter, an acclaimed singer and drummer, was known for her angelic voice and a role in The Carpenters, a duo she formed with her brother Richard. The Carpenters achieved massive success with hits like Top of the World and Close to You, becoming icons of the soft rock and adult contemporary genres. Details about Mark and Carpenter's relationship are sparse, reflecting the private nature of their lives at the time. However, their brief liaison was part of a period when both were rising stars in their respective fields. Karen Carpenter's legacy in music remained significant, marked by her distinctive vocals and drumming abilities, which continue to influence musicians today. Their relationship ended before Carpenter's tragic death in 1983, which was caused by complications related to anorexia nervosa. Mark, on the other hand, went on to have a successful acting career, most notably on the television series NCIS. The relationship between Mark and Carpenter is a small but notable part of their personal histories, highlighting a moment when two prominent figures in entertainment briefly cross paths. Next up is the very short stint he had with Christina Raines. Mark and Christina were quite the item back in the day. They dated for around four years, starting in 1980 after Mark's brief fling with Morgan Fairchild. Christina, a former actress and model, was known for her roles in films like The Sentinel and Silver Dream Racer. It seems like their relationship was pretty serious and sweet, with Mark once saying that Reigns taught him to appreciate the beauty in life, like stopping to notice the oak trees and to smell the flowers. But like many Hollywood romances, theirs didn't last forever, and they split up in 1984. Despite the breakup, it looks like they remained on good terms, with Reigns praising Mark for being a generous and giving actor. So, their love story is a neat little chapter in the bigger book of Mark Harmon's life, showing a softer, more reflective side to the NCIS star. Well, Mark didn't stop there. He moved on to another prolific actress. Mark and Heather Locklear had a brief affair in the mid-1980s. Locklear, famous for her roles in Dynasty and Melrose Place, was quite the star when they dated. Their fling started around December 1984, but was pretty short-lived, lasting just a few weeks. Harmon once made a comment comparing the relationship to having an emotional cup of coffee, 
which, as you would expect, stirred a bit of buzz. He later clarified that it was just a way to differentiate between a significant relationship and a brief encounter. Despite the fleeting nature of their romance, it's one of those Hollywood moments that caught the public's eye, showing a snippet of the sexiest man alive's love life before saying yes to his heartthrob. Another woman on the list of Mark's catch was Cherie Julian Wilson. They shared a brief moment in the spotlight together. Wilson, best known for her role as April Stevens on the TV series Dallas and as Alex Cahill on Walker, Texas Ranger, had a fling with Mark around 1985. Their relationship was part of Mark's string of high-profile romances during the 80s. While not much is publicly known about the specifics of their relationship, it was another example of Mark's connection with prominent actresses of the time. Cherie's career milestones include her significant roles in these iconic television series, which solidified her status in the entertainment industry. As for their breakup, like many of Mark's relationships from that era, it seems to have been amicable but remained a relatively private affair. Shortly after, Mark and Terry Leslie Garber had a brief romance before he finally settled down. Garber, known for her role as Ashton Maine in the miniseries North and South, caught Mark's eye and they dated towards the mid-1980s. While there isn't a treasure trove of details about their relationship, it was one among the series of Mark's encounters with notable actresses of that time that didn't lead to the altar. Garber, with her significant achievement in television, especially during the 1980s, was another example of Mark's connection with the stars of the screen. Their relationship, like many of Mark's previous ones, seems to have been part of his journey before he found long-term love with Pam. The specifics of when they broke up aren't widely publicized, but it appears to have been another stepping stone in Mark's eventful dating history. And finally, in 1986, he met her, the one and only true love of his life. Mark Harmon and Pam Dorber's relationship is like a breath of fresh air in Hollywood, known for its whirlwind romances and high-profile breakups. These two have been the exception, maintaining a strong and private bond since the mid-1980s. Mark, the rugged and charming star of NCIS, and Pam, best known for her role in Mork and Mindy, met through mutual friends and quickly found a deep connection that led them to the altar. Their wedding in 1987 was quite an affair, far from the paparazzi's prying eyes, setting the tone for their relationship. They've managed to keep their personal life out of the tabloids, focusing on building a family and nurturing their love away from the public's gaze. Mark has often referred to his wife Pam as the love of his life. Unlike most actors of his caliber, the couple has been together since they got married and they've maintained a strong, low-profile relationship ever since. Mark and Pam's connection shows the level of their shared values and dedication to each other, standing the test of time in an industry known for fleeting relationships. After her role in Mork and Mindy, Pam opted for a quieter life, prioritizing her family over her acting career. After marrying Mark in 1987, Pam chose to step away from the limelight to focus on raising their two sons. This decision was influenced by her desire to have a stable family life, a rarity in Hollywood, and to support Mark's burgeoning career in television, notably his long-running role in NCIS. Despite occasional returns to acting, Pam has maintained a low profile, emphasizing her preference for privacy and a drama-free life. Pam's full return to acting in 2021, joining Mark on NCIS, highlighted the supportive nature of their partnership. What's truly remarkable about Mark and Pam is their dedication to each other, weathering Hollywood storms with grace and commitment. Their relationship, spanning over three decades, serves as a testament to enduring love in an industry often criticized for superficiality. In a world where celebrity relationships often crumble under scrutiny, Mark and Pam have remained steadfast, proving that true love, respect, and privacy can indeed coexist in the limelight. It's clear that his heart belongs to Pam. Beyond the allure that connected him with notable figures, Mark's enduring bond with his partner stands as the true love story. Their life together, away from the spotlight, showcases a deep and enduring connection, proving that true love can flourish even amid celebrities.